So we've learned how to create our first pattern and textures and to render them out. Now we would like to know how we can create materials. And for this, I'll also start from scratch as uh, sorry, <laughs> scratch. <clears throat> so delete everything and I'll load a pattern uh, like, for example, this cobblestone pattern. And um, in the preview, you can see the different channels. This is the edge map which you can use to uh, for bump or displacement or whatever. Local shapes, these are the shape colors. Um, in case you would like to adjust those, um, select those by color and uh, edit those in Photoshop, for example, and the global colors for, um, for further editing and uh, color grading software, for example. And uh, I'll load a set of textures. I'll take the scanned ones, Hamburg, which I found in Hamburg, obviously. And here we are. So this is the set with albedo, diffuse, bump, normal, roughness, and ambient occlusion. And all of those are now also available here. So you can go through and uh, see how they look like. But you can also uh, turn to 3D. So I've, I'm using this 3D preview here. And uh, I'll set up a material which is this button, Adjust Material. I have the choice between Standard and PBR Material Type. And uh, here I'll use, in this case, the Diffuse, because we don't have shadows in the preview uh, rendering yet. Then Metallic, I'll turn this down. Take the Roughness, turn this up. Height is normal. And we might want to have some displacement. Actually, we don't have a displacement, so we'll keep this zero. And just increase the tiling. So we already see some reflection here. And uh, now let's further adjust this. We have this adjustment dialog. And this is also, again, the, the tiling. And here we have some randomization. So since these textures are almost square, I can rotate 90 degree, flip horizontally and vertically. And um, yeah, let's keep it like maybe it adjust randomly the, the sizing, but that's too much. 30% is too much. So maybe 4%, 2%. like this. Okay, so let's see. The bump mapping is not really so perfect. So uh, do we have a normal map, by the way? Yeah, we have one. So I should probably just increase the normal. Yeah, and then, then we see some normal mapping already. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, um, let's switch back to Diffuse. Let's see how the albedo looks like. I think I've... Let's use this that so it's more responsive. And diffuse. Okay. So this is basically the material that I've set up. Now, if I want to adjust the the background as well. I can choose uh, what kind of background I would like to see. Um, let me choose dark gray, but if I use the HRI, I can blur the background. And I can change the, the HRI lighting and see how it looks like in different lighting conditions. Here I see some more reflection. And, uh, but I, I prefer actually the dark gray in this case. All right, so if, if I'm happy with this, I can save it. Save preset S. Um, I'll just give it a random number. And if I want to render this out, again, select the output, individual files, or Photoshop directly with a bridge. 
But I'll talk about, about this a little bit later.